Some people are really good at parkour, but most people aren't. And this is despite years of hard work and training, trying their best to get good. Unless you're in your first three or four years of training or you're relatively young, your progression has probably slowed down quite a lot by now. However, it is still possible to radically alter your ability level. This has nothing to do with genetics, where you train, who you train with, the new strength program you're following, a new mobility program, your mindset. Look, all these things matter, but there is something else that can be done, something profoundly impactful, learnable, and something that is being overlooked by basically everyone. So to unravel this, we need to go back in time and look at two parkour athletes and their progression through the sport. So the first is Max Henry, a relatively well-known, pretty accomplished American parkour athlete. And the second is myself. So their starting conditions for parkour are pretty similar. Both teenagers, no particularly exceptional sporting backgrounds, training at their local spots with their friends. So five months into training, Max Henry, for a beginner, is pretty damn good. I don't know if he'd agree with me, but when we look at his movement patterns, just the way he's using his body, he's doing really big jumps, he's doing level Kong prees on rails, he's doing kip-ups, and the way he's moving in general is fast, it's surprisingly powerful, and it's competent. If I were to see a beginner rock up with this kind of ability level, I would be impressed. I would think, man, this guy has got a bright future. And then for some contrast, we introduce me. So this is me after five months of training. Now what you can notice about this movement in general is that it's bad. It doesn't look very good. There's a lot of things that are awkward about it. Um, and these are the best things that I'm capable of doing. It's not like I've picked my worst clips. These are my best clips. And these are the things that I was able to do. This isn't even showing the things that I couldn't do. There were no level rail cap prees for me happening in this time or big plyos or anything remotely like what Max Henry was doing at the time because he, as a beginner, was miles better than I ever was. And I'm gonna make some fantastic graphs to illustrate this. If we had to put our relative starting ability levels on a graph, I'd put Max Henry somewhere like this and I'd put myself somewhere down here and I think all of us can kind of position ourselves on this graph after a few months of training how we looked in terms of our ability. Now let's add four years to this and we have the power of hindsight to know that Max Henry got pretty damn good after four years of training and we can see that in his movement here. It's just really really good stuff. His cat passes are huge, massive plyos, great control, great sticks, really just a competent movement. Everything about that speed and connection and power that we saw in his early movement has been refined. What he's good at, he's gotten better at it. And it's really a, a wonderful thing to look at. Now, let's have a look at what four years of training has done for me. And unfortunately, I still sucked. I sucked in every way that one can suck. My movement has the quality of awkwardness. And it's awkward in the same ways that it was awkward before, just slightly more experienced. All the things that didn't work about this movement three years ago still don't. This movement is ugly. It's painful to watch. And spoiler alert, it was painful to use as well. It just felt bad using this body. It was slow, heavy, and everything is slightly off balance all the time. None of the movements linked together or flow together well. There are no smooth transitions. It looks disconnected, uncoordinated, and just like a bad athlete. And this was in spite of me trying really, really hard to get good. I was just unable to use a body well. And this lack of quality is the same one that was present from the beginning. Nothing has changed. It's just like the same bad thing, more experienced. I'm still at this time completely unable to do a cat pass or <laughs> anything remotely complicated. These are again, the best things that I'm capable of. I have improved obviously, but there's still this quality of just not goodness to the movement. As well as this, over the course of this four years of training, I was chronically injured. I had problems with my knees, with my shins, with my shoulders, with basically everything. And these problems never left. And I actively recognized I had a problem. I tried everything within my power to solve it. I spent thousands of my own dollars seeing every treatment specialist you can imagine, physiotherapist, sports scientist, massage therapist, chiropractors, osteopaths, you name it, I saw them. And what none of them ever changed was just the way I was normally in day to day, or at least not in a meaningful or comprehensive way. I had a year of training barefoot. I stretched religiously for hours at a time every single day. I was doing mobilization exercises, strengthening programs, weightlifting. I was really dedicated to solving this problem because I knew one, that I sucked and I, I didn't want to suck. I hated that feeling. And two, the injury problems were just never ending and it made my life miserable in and outside of parkour. In contrast to that, Max Henry over the same period of time was relatively injury free. And this pattern often shows up. People who move well at the start use their bodies well and they don't have problems. Now this is where the story gets interesting. If we were to continue graphing our ability levels, the difference between our ability levels has increased as in Max is dramatically better than me now. I've slowly improved, but not really. And Max has steeply improved. Now as a thought experiment, I want you to imagine what's gonna happen in one year's time. Where's my ability gonna be and where's Max Henry's ability gonna be? And I think we're all able to do this for our own abilities. We can kind of track roughly how good we'll be in a year because we've been training with ourselves and our own bodies for a really long time. And we sort of have this sense of how good it's possible for us to get based on how well we've trained in the past. It's not like you're gonna wake up tomorrow and suddenly be throwing triple backs if you've never done a single backflip well. So first let's look at Max Henry. And yeah, another year later, five years of training, he's still amazing, but 
hasn't dramatically improved, it's just a steady, nice, consistent improvement. After four or five years of training, people do continue to improve, but that progression becomes much less steep. Those first four years are when the most profound progression is done by athletes. So when we look at the graph of how good you expect me to be after another year, the expectation is that I will be rubbish. But instead, what happened at that four year period is I changed what I was training. And we can see that in my movement result, I actually improved more than I would ever thought possible. I was no longer constantly injured. I looked less like a pile of janky limbs and more like a human who can actually do stuff. And this movement is still far from perfect, but there are so many things about it that are better than before. This is the beginning of a profound process of change that was to continue onwards from this point. I was more able to connect movements together. The transition started to have some smoothness to them. I was more able to generate force. My standing jump improved by over a foot and a half in this period of time. And I was actually able to do some flips for the first time, like front flips, etc. It wasn't that my parkour training changed. It's that what I was doing outside of parkour that changed. My graph has moved in a way that is unexpected. And it's unexpected because I've actually gotten better in a way that is noticeable. Movements that were before impossible, like cat passes and flips, and many things that I had no shot on hell of doing are actually being done with a relative degree of competence. But anyway, let's continue the story. So let's go seven years or eight years in. Max Henry, yes, continuing to get better, but the progression I would say has slowed down. And this happens for most people as the graph starts to mellow out. No doubt he's still an incredible athlete, but this doesn't really stand in contrast to anything he's done previously. He's still good, but he's still good at the same things in the same ways. And at this point, there's no expectation from himself or anyone else really that he's going to dramatically change his ability level. Why would he? Here we go over to myself again. Eight years in, the previous improvement trends have continued, but the difference between the past becomes even more distinguished. In many ways, I no longer resemble the person from four years prior. The movement quality is just better. It's more powerful. It's faster. The movements are better connected. Some of them are even bordering on being actually graceful. They're overall more technically difficult, requiring larger range of motions and more balance and control throughout their range of motion. Now, it's still imperfect, definitely, and the relative overall skill level is still not super high, but comparatively, this trend is unexpected. It breaks the pattern. And this stands in stark contrast to someone like Max, who's in many ways very similar to his previous self and to most people's progression graphs. And if we were to try and graph these again, it might start to look something like this, with the dotted line as the expected progression and the other as what actually happened. What you notice is that I've actually continued to improve on a strangely linear upwards tangent. And let's look at some even more recent clips for me. This is after about nine, ten years of training. And what we can see here is that again, I'm continuing to improve and improve in a way that is not merely doing more difficult movements. I am moving better, fundamentally using the body more correctly. It looks better. It works better. It's the same trends from before, further refined. The movement has again gotten faster. I'm lighter on my feet. Everything is again more powerful, more coordinated, better balanced. And nowadays, I'm actually pretty good. I've won a couple of speed competitions at home and abroad. My previous self has almost entirely faded away. Here's a quick refresher. This was after four years training. Four years, I sucked. I should, at this stage, have been deep into my mediocre old parkour man plateau, but instead I'm doing the opposite. I'm consistently improving. Think about your own progression. Put it on a graph. Are you stuck? Have you been stuck for a long time? People think fundamental change is impossible. I'm jumping proof that this is not the case. We can change, but this change does not come from doing parkour. So the only real question left is, how did I do it? My time was spent making myself like what Max Henry was like before he started parkour. Look at him just walking around. This is normal Max Henry. As a teenager, he was doing everything right. He was standing upright. His head was on top of himself. His rib cage was round. His shoulder blades sat in a good position. His center of gravity was in the right place. He was using his body well, and that translated directly into his movement results. You can see that in his landings. He's so on top of himself. He's so square. His spine is straight. He's well supported. I, on the other hand, was almost the exact opposite. My head fell forward. My rib cage collapsed. My shoulders sat around my body. My low back curved a lot. My butt stuck out. My center of gravity was back on my heels. And all of these things carried through into my movement. When I did a movement, it looked wrong because the foundation I was using was wrong. And until I changed my starting position, my default, where I started from, there's no way to get different results than that. You just build on your foundation. So my foundation, as it changed, becoming more upright and straighter through my spine, head back on top of myself, shoulders sitting back, ribcage sitting forward, hips underneath, my abs on, my bums on, my posterior chain, all of these good things started to come in that carried through directly into my movement results. You can see I get more upright as I land. All the things about Max Henry's movement that work, 
I'm starting to do as well. And this is why Max Henry will never need this, at least not to the same extent, because he's doing things pretty close to right. He still has problems, but he's so much closer to just the biologically correct way for a body to be in space. And he had all of this before he did his first jump. We cannot separate life from parkour. The way you're sitting at your chair watching this video impacts your ability to do parkour. The further we deviate from the biological ideal, the less able we are to move, the more things don't work. If you improve slowly, if you find you have huge gaps in your ability, if you find you're constantly struggling with these things, it means that you have huge latent potential hidden inside you to improve. That postural progress is untapped and the rewards and payoffs from it are potentially huge. And this whole situation is what makes the best athletes the worst coaches because they've always done things pretty well. Their foundation, what they started with, was good and this scales well. Look at Tim Champion, the dude looks like a Greek god and this is true of all the best athletes. Look at their position. They are so upright, so symmetrical, so centered and the best advice they have to give is to try harder or to train more because really that's all that they're missing. In future I'll try and break down the specifics of everything I did at every point in time so if you want to replicate this you can do it too. Anyway thanks for watching the video guys, I appreciate the support. If you like the video comment, share, all that stuff. Peace out.